Hi, I'm Monica Cesarato, a food and travel blogger in Venice. Welcome to Venice Meets, a series of live chats from Instagram every day at 6 p.m. CET. Today, I will talk to Roberta Zennaro, food technologist and travel blogger from Venice. Ciao, carissima! Oh, how are you? I'm very well, and this time the connection is beautiful. You think so? So you were right last time? Yes, I was. Yes. It is spotless. Great, great. great. I'm happy about that. How are you doing? I'm cooking uh, <laughs> the things that you have been talking about. I'm writing. I'm happy, even though we are facing hard times, everybody knows. And as long as we are healthy, I'm happy. Okay, yes. so first of all, uh, jams and preserves. And yes. by preserves, we're not talking about just fruit, we're talking about also vegetables. Yes, sure. Why, why is, in your opinion, uh, apart from bread and pizza that everybody's making and we got bored, okay, why should we go into jams and preserves? Why is it so important? It is important because it's a very healthy product. It's uh, made uh, of vegetables that is, uh, in theory, the healthiest thing we could eat uh, throughout our lives. And the major uh, problems, in brackets, we could have eating these products is if we suffer from diabetes or other health issues uh, for which it is not recommended to eat eat as much as normal people could, but we can just adjust the quantity and uh, use little tips when we are making jams in order to make them lighter and still uh, give the possibility to everybody to enjoy it from breakfast time until dinner time. Okay, so let's talk about making, obviously, jams and preserves in a natural way. We're not talking about going out and buy chemical products to make it because that defeats the ob object of doing things at home, right? So mm -hmm. what the basic ingredients needed that everybody can do at home mm -hmm. if you want to preserve, just the basics. You have already mentioned the keywords in making gems at home that are pretty different with respect to what we do, not in an industrial way, or but even in a place where we could have um, um, in the countryside, for example, a number of trees that make a lot of fruit in a very short period of time. That means that we could uh, have uh, supplies and equipment, even in a small uh, scale, to make uh, at home gems that we can sell. Uh, the border between home production and uh, commercial production of gems is pretty weak because mm. there are ways when you can just invest a few thousand euros. I tell you because I've been working for a company like that. When you mm -hmm. can equip a kitchen, even if you have an agriturismo or a, or a, a company, a, an agriculture production in your, in your country, in your own fields, Well, you can do it and sell it. The thing is so uh, much linked from one way to the other of, of, produ of production of gems that uh, it can be uh, explained for a home production and home consumption and transform it into a commercial activity, okay? <laughs> uh, the keywords are the... I will show you. Yes. See, organized woman. Okay. What it looks at the end, you have a glass jar with a cap, and inside you have jam. To make a number of these jars, it takes you no more than one hour, an hour and a half, for starting from one, two kilos of fruit. And uh, the more you do, not really in proportion the more it takes, but you just have to use the right proportions to be as natural as possible and safe as possible because let's not forget that even if we work for a home consumption, we must produce in a safe way to prevent it to ferment, to get molds and dangerous uh, metabolites that be, will be hurting our, ourselves and also, for example, our children. Another very important thing in brackets is that It's a very difficult, different way of making gems if we have a normal family or we have potentially weak people like elderly people or sick people or, or, or uh, children or babies because you should take more care about that.
And there are different theories in home consumption and home preparing jams because uh, you could uh, have more uh, stri stricter uh, procedures to make them healthier, even though these jams are not the most delicate things. And also working with other vegetables to making pickled vegetables uh, in mm -hmm. oil and vinegar, things like that. It's very good to do yourself, but it's even more dangerous with respect to other germs that are more dangerous than mm -hmm. molds. So I, I always like to talk about it in a very, very, very careful way. If possible, we'll talk about it another time because it takes longer time and more procedures. Okay. What so you need... Let's go to the, to the germs. Yeah. What do what I you, need? I'm what you need? I never you done at all, but let's say I never done jam preserve in my life. Yes, you need these empty uh, glass jars and caps, each one with its own cap, possibly new one. You can also reuse them because if it, it's, if it is for home consumption, I sometimes reuse them, but best you could buy them and take, take uh, care of the, of the cleanliness. So you have, they have to be well washed. And you can also combine from the beginning the, um, according to the kind of product you're going to put inside the, the cap color that is very nice because they can be green, white, red. Question. Yes. Okay. So I can stop you. Okay. The caps, if I reuse them as well as wash them, should I sterilize them by boiling them? There is a, a, a there are points of view that make it different because you can use chemicals like alcohol or grandpa don't they don't 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 think about strange things you can sterilize them putting into an oven yes so okay, you boil, open them. Boil them, is that okay just by boiling not okay it's not okay because boiling them means that afterwards anyway you have to to dry them and, and we sweep and it means that you pollute them again so ah, boiling i let i drain them and i let them to dry on their own no, 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 no. Anyway, you will keep uh, water drops inside that are dangerous, even if then you put the, the hot uh, product inside. Oh, okay. okay. So in the you can leave them open in an oven for oh. like half hour, not, not in, at a very, very high temperature, like around uh, 90, 10, 10, uh, 100 okay. degrees. Or uh, you can uh, best for me is uh, is putting some some very aggressive liquid like alcohol like for for the for the cooking for the cookie cooking. Yeah, yeah to make it more low graph and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. Graph yeah. for me is the best because uh, it, it is uh, it is soft in, and it especially doesn't leave any um, of odor in the final product. That is very oh. important. Okay. Good. You prefer normally. Uh, more than the quantity that you will need because if they, they remain for yourself you can use them an, a, another time okay, okay. and you need a stainless steel pan for sure thick enough to okay. allow a pan or a pot a pot should be okay but also a pan is okay you know why because if it is tall enough it gives uh, you still have to mix them up with a spoon all the time wooden spoon possibly and it means that uh, you will it will be more homogeneous and easier to warm up because ah, yeah. well, when he cooks he goes <coughs> yes it does it does you have to adjust you have to adjust the heat ah, you know okay. you have to adjust the heat and you have to be always there always yeah. we're talking about Home cooking. If we are in an industrial or a different sales with a sales purpose, you can cover it and put it under pressure, and that's another story. Okay. Normally, let's reason for one kilo of fruit, and fruit can be whatever. What I do in my in my no normal life when I want to do gems, I can do from a, we ha I have three fruits starting with an A, that in English, the only one, unluckily, is apricot. But in, Ita in Italian, we have arancia, oranges, ananas, pineapple, whatever, until Z, like zucchini. You can also do oh, zucchini. Apple. In English, apricot. Apples, apples, yes, 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 yes. Look at me. <laughs> I'm looking and looking. How do you have to have apples, even when you're not preparing apple jam? And lemon. Lemon is essential to help the, the conservation. And, but we will use it at the end. We have to wash and cut and prepare in bits the fruit and put 
Yes. Sorry, it's for self stop. Yes. But simply you're asking. No, when, okay. I, when I choose my fruit, uh, since uh, it is time of quarantine, it's time that uh, everybody money start to be mm -hmm. a bit mm -hmm. okay, scarce. When I pick my fruits, is it okay if I pick fruits that are not exactly beautiful? The uglier, the better, normally. You know why? Because it's ripe. And uh, when uh, you don't like aesthetically fruit, normally is it, it's because uh, it could be wrinkled or things like that. But if it is fruit from your own tree, best. Because possibly it won't have preservatives and things like that. It's organic, blah, blah, blah. But even when you buy them, you know, when I go to the market to buy lots of fruit, maybe I told you earlier this time, uh, on Saturday afternoon, when they, uh, they are getting rid of all the ripe fruit that they are, they are not going to use anymore, and I can get them for good quality, the ripest fruit that I could find in the marketplace, and it is the more apt to do these kind of things. And you cheaper know? as well, because if I get rid of... Much cheaper, much yes. cheaper, much cheaper. You can also do experiments because no, let's not forget that you have a lot of, if you have a lot of fantasy, you, have, you have, can combine fruits and make new recipes according to your taste and your needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, something that I don't like could be the best for you and vice versa. So let's not uh, exclude any kind of uh, fantastic new product we can do. Mm -hmm. So let's imagine we have one kilo of fruit mm -hmm. and still... 10%, 10 to 15% that could be one apple per kilo fruit, any kind of fruit you use, or even any a little bit more. Any kind of apple? Uh, Granny Smith, the, the yellow normal mm -hmm. apple is okay. You know why? Because when you open it, you can find it is uh, uh, tasty. It's not too sweet, not too sour. And it's got a lot of pectin. The use of apple is to help uh, jellification because jellification means that we will have uh, a healthier but also a stable, stable, more stable product that if you don't use apple could require more boiling time. That is no good because you're getting rid of vitamin, vitamins, uh, minerals mm -hmm. and the healthy parts, mm -hmm. like micronutrients. And also because it helps uh, really to form the shape and the texture of the final product hmm? okay so let's think about one kilo of fruit one one and a half apple you have always to peel and 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 clean and you keep lemon aside because lemon will be placed afterwards in the jam okay half lemon uh, no one lemon per half kilo sugar You're talking and about the juice of a lemon, yes? Or lemon, the lemon, lemon, juice. Lemon, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Okay. Half kilo sugar, so half the quantity of fruit, has to be sugar. This is for the standard home making. I'm really annoying today. I know, I'm sorry. But no, I'm, no, no. I'm pretending to be the people on the other side, okay? Yes, 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 yes. White or any kind of sugar? I'm always expecting this question, friends of mine always ask me, because for me, there is no great added value in using brown sugar or cane sugar, because it costs a hell of a lot. Okay. And the only different thing you will have is ethically that you use a cleaner and a healthier product. But I don't think it's worth it in my personal point no, of view. Thinking no? also of the, a vegan people. Vegan people are not that they try not to use white uh, sugar mm -hmm. that's what I was asking so that's mm -hmm. fine okay. so it's just yeah, a question of choice okay It's, it's a choice you can do. Uh, you can, the most important thing, if you can, for me, is that you, sh you choose Italian sugar that unluckily is much more expensive than the usual European sugars we have in the marketplace. Could be more than a euro per kilo, but this is a choice I don't discuss with the people who want to do at home their gems. When you put into a pot, let's say a pot or a pan, you have to also to, to decide how much you want to do. If you want to do like two or three kilos, kilos fruit at a time, you must calculate longer time to make it and longer time to boil it because boiling has to be homogeneous in order to guarantee the, the perfect uh, cooking throughout the product. Okay? Mm -hmm. You put it inside, you mix uh, the, the fruit bits and the sugar and you leave it there cold for approximately half hour. That oh, means that you... That. Oh, you leave it yes, there. there. You don't leave there. Oh. Before, before heating it, you just have to let the juice mix 
Uh, because mixing the juice means that you will have uh, a quicker and a more thorough cooking of the product okay. because uh, they are already prepared the juices to mix and to make a final product. Okay, okay. so here we could have one kilo fruit, one apple and uh, half kilo sugar. You let them there. Meanwhile, normally I'm used to, to do the things at least two at a time as a normal Italian women do. So the time when I'm waiting for the juice to, to get out of the, of, the, um, of the fruit, I prepare the, the jars and I put everything in place, calculating them uh, that in the time when we let them boil, that we'll lose weight. So if you do the addition, uh, that makes approximately 1.5 kilos uh, product when you, when you put it into the, the pot, uh, you will get less. Uh, if a normal bus can be, these jars can be from 200 to 300 grams, uh, for 1.5 kilos, that should be six, seven jars finally, but it will be less because it will have an important weight loss during boiling, you know? Before we said about, uh, I asked you about sterilizing the tops. What about mm. sterilizing the jars? If I buy them already, well, obviously, whatever I buy them, they're not going to be clean. So you I need have to, to wash them. You have to wash them first. Yes. Do I have to sterilize them or not? Yes, for well, sure. There are people who don't. Yes, yes. Even yes. if they are clean, you don't have the conditions and when they have been taken to the shop and the conditions where, where, where they have been stored and even when you take them home you don't know so the the the, the sanitary the health, the health issue is very important so we, it's better we do something more than something less because uh, it could give uh, good or bad consequences okay. you know okay. uh, when wow. you turn the gas on you, it takes time to go to boiling and you mm -hmm. have to to mix all the time and to check that the boiling arrives one moment or another because and the sugar of course by melting it will stick exactly. when sugar melts it goes all together with the rest and when it starts the product starts boiling you can add the uh, lemon juice at this time it's better to add it when it starts boiling because this prevents from oxidizing that is very important because oxidation will bring a uh, darkening a browning of the final product that is not nice to see the final product you doesn't know that doesn't it brown in the half an hour when it sits there with yes, the sugar? It does. yes it does but then this is a reversible process process ah, so when okay. you put lemon inside it gets clear again have you noticed ah, it i didn't know yeah. oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah 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 okay mm, okay it's this when you start uh, also uh, putting this lemon in lemon juice inside you will see uh, that you should get rid of uh, of the surface that is uh, not very good uh, just because there are little bits that are uh, just just little bits that are not so healthy but not in with respect to health itself with respect also to the to the aesthetic aspect of the final product so if you can just put it away yes exactly you just remove it on the surface clean Okay. And what I recommend when you do those things is that you eat it immediately that's very good for digestion Ah, okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Very, very good. It won't get into the final product, but it's good. And this is important also for you to see it's good and nice looking. Yeah, and you taste the jam as well, so you know if it's... Uh, exactly. Better. You can taste it and you can also adjust if necessary. If you feel it too sweet, you can add more lemon juice. If you feel it's, it's a bit not, not so sweet, but it shouldn't be sweeter than the necessary, mm -hmm. you can just add some more sugar, but I don't recommend this to be done, you know. Okay. Normally, it takes approximately half hour to make it thicker. And even if you lose some water in this process, for sure, you get a better product that is safe, that is uh, uh, that has the nice flu flu the right fluidity that when you put it afterwards into the jar is going to last and to solidify. Solidifying is essential to prevent molds and uh, germs attacking during conservation and uh, when you see it, if it's not 30 minutes can be 40 minutes until one hour no more than that once in the past we used to boil two three hours but you know what happened to that you got nice gems but they looked like uh, boiled cooked fruit mm. with no taste with no great difference from one fruit to another 
And that mm-hmm. was for me nice, for, like a, for a preserved product, but not so healthy because the, the good uh, components, mm-hmm. especially micro components, had gone away. Mm-hmm. And uh, nothing more than that. You can also decide to keep it softer, not too solid, because you are going to use them in a short time. This is not a long conservation product. It depends on you how you want to, to do it. Yeah, exactly. I was going to ask you, uh, 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 how long then can I keep them generally? Six months, a year? Normally, 12 months are okay, or even more. What happens is that the product is not going to change a lot during time. It's just going to lose little by little its nutritional properties. Okay. But uh, by, by, from a health point of view, it doesn't change a lot. You know, anyway, when it comes to 30, 40 minutes and you feel and you taste mm-hmm. the product is okay, it's become thicker and if it, it looks uh, cooked, you just turn the gas off. You keep mixing for a couple of minutes and you prepare yourself to to pour into the the jars and uh, close it immediately. Uh, Normally, you shouldn't keep uh, the the top uh, much empty, no more than half centimeter, as little as possible, because the open space gives air the possibility to keep exactly a little bit of germs because it's almost sterile. A product like this is almost sterile, but not really sterile. And you need some space, but the head space should not be a lot. You close well the product but and you let it cold, get cold. Two ways of closing that I was told. One, and tell me if I'm wrong or right, okay? This is what mm-hmm. I was told. Mm-hmm. The one that I like the most. At the top of your uh, little half centimeter, whatever, a nice dollop of uh, grappa to seal it off. Close it and that preserve, stops any kind of germs and stuff uh, uh, being born. Is that correct? Would I don't you... like it. I don't like it because alcohol is not going to be uh, enjoyed by some people. Okay. And when you put it there on top of the final product, it, it keeps, it keeps the, the smell that couldn't be okay or not. It makes it more liquid, so it, one okay. side it should be better preserved and the other side should be worse preserved because okay. uh, anyway, alcohol tends to evaporate and at okay. a time, a time it won't be there anymore, you know? The second one, they told mm-hmm. me, and I haven't tried either, so I'm only asking, okay? They told me to cut some circles of uh, baking paper and just mm-hmm. put it on top of a jam and then close the top. Because what again, to, I don't know, they told me to do that. I didn't do it, but that's why I was told that some people do that. This kind of paper is not sterile either. It's going to put more threat into the final product. And oh. I don't think it's useful at, at all, but please let me know who 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 does this this kind of, of process mm-hmm. and, and years ago my, uh, you know housewives years ago I, that's why i was asking you okay good so just leave a little thing close it what about tipping over turning over reversing, reversing is a theory that some people like to use for me it's completely useless because at the time that uh, a few seconds go from pouring and closing uh, the, this is not enough to exactly it, it stabilizes itself and the the little evaporation we have from the hot product to the to the to the cap is good to help preserving because yeah, we, we uh, have the vacuum seals up. Okay. the vacuum is, is enough at this time you just have to keep everything clean and, and not to keep things open and things like that and that should be enough you can reverse them, but for me, it doesn't change a lot. And on top of that, I don't like when I open the, the jar to find the little bits of jam on the cap because for me, it's not good. And this allows anyway the possibility to get molds and, and, and problems afterwards. You know? so, sorry I'm asking you these things, but you know... We no, no, you have to. to you have to. to. I'm I used to. Because everybody's got I'm different methods. And- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've been doing gems and learn and teaching people for ages like uh, more than half my 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 life because when I was at university I already put labels on my gems when I brought it to taste to my friends and it, it was called not a conserved ziarobi as you see in my in my labels now you know yeah, yeah, it was written 
uh, Bobo. Bobo, that was my main nickname when I was at university. Oh, that yeah, was Roberta. used. Bobo. Roberta became Bobo. That was a nickname from my family, still used. Uh, so the people asked me what it was for and explained to them. And we have always been discussing among my family members and among friends uh, how to do it because I tell you what, the most uh, strange gems you could find will be, be always good if you do it for yourself and you should try it. I have had done a lot of mistakes, a lot of stupid things doing gems. I will tell you a very, very little one. There was the last uh, lady that took care of my granny until four years ago that gave us uh, a box of sugar open like that when she finished her service. I did uh, a fig jam uh, at the end of the summer, but uh, I didn't know that she had put salt inside. Did I tell you? Hey, you laugh about it. It was not, I was so upset when I saw it. I opened the jar and mommy tasted it and I tasted it. What a strange taste. What a, and it was salt, you know? I tried to eat it. You but know, you just skim and try your jam before putting I it in. I was so angry. You imagine putting salt into jam. I mean, I had to throw it away, but I was so, so, so sad, you know? But I have more next time. And listen, another thing that I hear people doing, and by the way, I stress, these are not things that I do, okay? Right. Why not? Um, no, 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 as in, these are not mistakes that I've done. It's all things that I hear from people, okay? I actually I do it like was that is straight. Okay. Yes. A lot of people are here, but once the jam is ready and everything, they boil their jars. Yes. It's not over, you know, it's not over. If you want, and this is a security measure that I very much recommend, if you want to sell these things, and if you want to send them away and not take control of the whole process, is that you boil it. Boiling and sterilizing is not the same thing. What you, you should do to be safer, and this means that you can also boil uh, pickles when you do that i do peppers artichokes i told you uh, um, onions little onions things like that uh, that i pickle by myself afterwards in that case i must boil it boiling is a very annoying process because it takes a lot of time because you have to put all the things in a pot at this time that has to be large that has to be protected the, 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 the border has to be, to be protected either with a metal thing or with a, a, a towel things like that that prevents the jar to touch the, the surface because during boiling that, that could be dangerous and when you put jars inside they should be completely covered that means that for this height it should be at least uh, one centimeter higher mm -hmm. and when you have to check the boiling at this time uh, if it comes lower you have to to drop more uh, power to power more water inside mm -hmm. normally 20 minutes boiling should be okay should be enough but for me for safety reasons i keep it longer like 25 to 30 minutes full boiling huh See, but you have to do this process or can you skip it? For jams, you can skip it. For okay. uh, tomato, mm -hmm. for tomato sauce, for example, you should. Okay. We are not talking about uh, vegetables like, uh, I mean, tomatoes, uh, peppers, cauliflower, things like that. Uh, any sauce should be sterilized. And mm -hmm. still you have the danger that very, very bad germs like botulinum that doesn't make you go to the toilet can bring you to... Mm -hmm. the sky, you know, because it has 90% mortality rate, something that Mamma mia, I don't even want to mention for these kind of vegetables the, the water activity and the pH and all the chemical uh, aspects are not enough to keep it close like this, okay. you know okay. good, so now, you know Marisa, you know what Marisa is writing I mean yeah, I, I, Marisa, I really Marisa, says, Marisa says that she's not a good cook turns out but she's a very good cook. It's just she likes. I think people. she. She's he, a liar. She's he, modest. I don't. I don't he, like modest people. I like people that are proud of what they do, and she has to be proud of all the beautiful yes, things she does. And I believe she's a good. Cook. I will put her to try. I believe it. Believe him or not, you know. He is a good cook. Now, silly question: If I want to do a jam made of not one fruit but different fruits, mm -hmm. um. Uh, is there a proportion rule to follow? Whatever I got, I just throw in. Uh, are certain fruits that shouldn't go with others? You know, 
what is combinations are there are infinite combinations you can use and again your fantasy and your taste is the best judge for you to understand what is good for you i tell you a very very strange thing it's not a real mixture of fruit but a friend of mine let me try a couple of years ago sangria jam you know what it meant she made sangria mm -hmm. she put the and i mean i tell you i have mm, 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 like this she put the apples into wine and cloves mm -hmm. and the cinnamon and blah 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 she did sangria and she got a lot of apples uh, bits finally Uh, poured with the uh, uh, red wine inside she did jam with that i tell you it was so good i cannot explain to you i'm going to make it you know it, it's a very fantastic thing because did you think about making jam from sangria ever i no i would never have thought but i tell you this is a kind of jam that is good not really for breakfast but to put it on your table when you are eating for example boiled meat or at a normal well, meat of course with all the boiling the alcohol is evaporated anyway so it is you can exactly. exactly. it exactly. but it doesn't it. taste as much it doesn't taste like jam i used to do a lot of fruit mixtures that means for example uh, similar fruits like oranges and lemons or pears and apricot that are normally from the same season because believe me or not when you use a local product and seasonal product of course it's the best it's ripest mm -hmm. sweetest healthiest and i mean i don't have to explain to people what it's going to going to be you can mix whatever you want just always remember to keep 10 to 15% weight of apples normal apples to add at the end and uh, there, are no, there are no big secrets i used to do like pears and kaki or uh, uh, for example cherries and uh, strawberries and this is one kind of mixture you can you can also put two three four fruits together but the more fruits you mix the less you can feel the real fruit ah, taste because they're mixed so up. it's always better maybe to do a combination of two the fruit is going to be okay yeah okay. normally okay okay Nothing according to your great fantastic fantasy is putting spices inside spices could be normally the most uh, uh, sm best smelling spices that could be cloves or cinnamon or ginger normally cardamom. in powder cardamom. cardamom is good but it's very strong some people don't like it yes and you have to take care when you open it if you ca you can keep or you can get rid of the skin it depends on what you want to do because finally if you eat things like this it could it could be sometimes unpleasant to taste i don't know i don't know how you like to feel these kinds of taste when you eat it, but it always depend whether you're eating yourself or giving to others you know yeah. and um, when you do the combination with tea yes. what are you actually using the actual tea leaves of course uh, thank you for asking me this uh, i give you a, a hint i don't know uh how to ask you but i would like uh, one day or another to talk about tea because uh, wine tasting is a history but yeah, well, whenever yeah, you like please darling we are here until at least the 3rd of may um, so we are going to be here until the end of may but never mind so Tranquilla, couple of weeks, plant your tart. Plant I mean, the history of tea is as charming as history of wine and coffee mm. for sure because there is a, a thousand years history back that where we can find a uh, witness of uh, people in their areas making tea in China for example or in Eastern Europe making wine blah blah blah. I'll definitely when, call you Please uh, if you want to put tea leaves inside the jam it's very good it makes them uh, more complete uh, tasting and again you have to put it on your table not for breakfast but for cheese pairing for example <laughs> and in this case you put leaves leaves you you do your tea you put it in your little uh, egg uh, metal metal thing to to power mm -hmm. and after the infusion there should be short infusion because uh, remember that the best tea is uh, uh, comes after a very short infusion a couple of minutes no more than that you you put it aside mm -hmm. and before it gets dry because otherwise you would be again at the starting point you put it into your jam to make uh, the to make it at the, at the beginning to let the juice come out and, and oh, all, all the rest is I don't want to find the little bits could i put the uh, the leaves inside the, the jars 
some kind of uh, fabric, you know, like a gauze kind of thing. Fabric. Mm -hmm. And that way then I can take it out. For example, non yes. violante. At yes. your well, she makes some with a lot of spices, but mm -hmm. she doesn't leave the spices to run around. She put all mm -hmm. the spices in this white gars thing. Mm -hmm. That way, mm -hmm. then once the jam is ready, she pulls it out and then she puts away the jam in the jars. You can, you can do it, but uh, please remember always that there is a great migration of uh, micro elements inside the, the the jam or marmalade. Let me talk uh, one second about marmalade afterwards. And uh, also the metal, the, the material from the pot is released into the product. That is one necessary thing. If you are not completely aware of the pureness of the fabric, you could get uh, chemicals or residues uh, of this uh, into the product. I don't know if it is uh, advisable, some, something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can also do a, a much simpler thing. Some people like to have bits that you can see inside the, the marmalade and the jam, for example. I don't know if you see, there should be a, this is a, a khaki seed. Can you oh, see yes. this, this yeah. spot? This is a seed that somebody likes to see it, somebody does not. So you can also, uh, you can mix them, yes, at, right. the, at the end, and you can get rid of spices bits, for example. Mm -hmm. I like to see, for example, tea leaves when I take it out because it changes color and it gives a nice appearance to the product, but some people could not enjoy it, you know, depends okay. on you. I think we talk about marmalade another time, but we'll talk about preserves now because we only go about 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, really? And I did promise the um, yeah, yes, 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 yes. And I did promise preserves. But we can talk about marmalades another time, it's no problem. I, I tell you, there is nothing to say about marmalade. The very same story is about marmalade. Just remember that marmalade normally is done with oranges or, or lemons, mm -hmm. but exactly. all those similar products works the same except exactly. for the sugar quantity because normally these products, some of these products are less sweet. So for example, if you want to do pure lemon marmalade, you should add some more sugar. That's it. Ah, okay. More than that. That's it. Oh, okay. Yes, Fine. yes, yes. And you remember this is marmalade because for the law, European law, whatever comes from these products is marmalade. Whatever comes from other fruits is jam. I mean, this is a common law you will find in any language, in any legislation. That's it. Okay. Benissimo. What do you want to do? What do you want to know about preserves? Okay, let's talk about vegetable preserves, of course, whatever. Okay, first of all, difference between preserving in vinegar and preserving in oil. It's simple and complicated. Is the process different? Yes and no. Oh. Uh, e preserve, I don't like preserves in vinegar because they don't taste nice and it's too sour for me and many people will not enjoy them. Uh, I like it to be put into oil after boiling uh, because it's more tasteful and the oil gets into the product and make it uh, tasteful, but it's uh, also far uh, fatter. So yeah. again, but then, if you, but then again, you can also use the infused oil after if you want uh, to. You don't no. want to no. Okay. no, it doesn't make because this is the most dangerous product you can do okay. and this is why I don't like to talk about it because I'm a bit embarrassed with respect to what people could do with that ah, and, okay. and, and uh, still this can be finally a product that is shelf stable and long, a long time stable like um, uh, 6 or 9 or 12 months in a, in a cold and a dry and a dark place for sure but it's potentially more dangerous. So please take care. And myself, I had done some mistakes with respect to these products and I have had to adjust uh, the recipe and I prefer to put it into oil because oil helps very much preserving because uh, it's a product that uh, uh, tur turns around the, the, the vegetable and makes it safer and more taste tasteful and better in all, in all the accent. You okay. can put again one uh, vegetable, kind of vegetable or more than that inside. The more you put together, the more they should be similar. That means that the hard product should not be put together with a softer product because the boiling time will be different and doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. Example, example. Uh, uh, onions, 
If you put bits of onions, I just put, use them as uh, uh, to, to make more taste for the product more tasteful and to give color to the product because I normally use uh, red uh, onions and uh, things that give a nice aspect to the product. Uh, carrots are hard, but they have a completely different texture with respect to cauliflower, for example. Um, uh, peppers are good and they are the softest product you could boil before you put it into jars. And I have uh, taken a lot of time to put all this product together, but now I have stopped. And I normally use one main product, like for example, cauliflower or pepper or artichoke. And they put inside carrots and, uh, or, uh, and onions in bits uh, just to give color and taste to the final product. Okay, so become una giardiniera in pratica diventa. It could be like what we call giardiniera, but uh, not with too many things inside. Okay, my question is, oh, you mentioned boiling the product, okay? Mm -hmm. What about when, uh, is it possible to do it at home as well, not just by boiling the product, but by grilling it and then preserving it in oil? You can, uh, but uh, uh, I. Uh, you can, but the conservation is more complicated, okay. and you should keep it in the fridge, and you should use it in a very short period of time. Whereas, ah, okay, okay. This, this you molds molds are there waiting for you, turning around yourself, looking at you making the product to to rush inside the product when you're doing it. Okay. Uh, it's good for sure, and grilling is also less healthy. For sure, because grilling makes carbon traces and it makes something that you really, we really should eat very, very seldom. Really, really very seldom, I tell you. Okay. I'm, okay. I don't like to be a teacher in this, with respect to this, but it's very important to keep in mind that if a product can be healthy, the healthier it is, the better it is. I okay. hope you agree with me. Okay. And then you have the pickles. So what, what do you actually, that obviously uses vinegar, so you pickle onions. Uh, bit, pepper, what small bit of the product and uh, you don't have to weigh them at this time the biggest difference between gems and preserves is that, that the fruit have to be weighed whereas uh, the products the vegetables have just to be counted and put it and put into a pot you know you should fill it as much as possible but not too much because you have to give them the time to boil and to boil and to and to mix together correctly and uh, when you have a, a, I, I try to weigh uh, water and uh, vinegar in order to have two thirds of water and one third of vinegar you know normal vinegar not a complicated thing you could use to make it darker and more tasteful uh, balsamic vinegar but for sure the the most uh, the best product costs a hell of a lot of money that doesn't make sense you could use it from take it from the market you can try everybody can try what they like but uh, uh, not putting it too 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 much ahead you know it, it okay. can be it can be threatening thing at, at mm -hmm. some time And you also put salt, salt and, and salt and sugar inside a little bit. Ah, sugar. Like, like, sure, mamma mia, sugar is necessary. Sugar and salt, like two spoons, full spoons, is necessary to make it tasteful and to help the preservation because sugar is a preservative and salt is again a preservative, you know? Okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, yes. My question is, for the jams, we said... The more mature, the better, because of course, mm -hmm. uh, they have more sugar, the very least and everything. When I'm doing said, when I go and try to preserve the vegetables and I, I want to put them under oil or under vinegar to do my pickles, whatever, they shouldn't be too overripe, should they? That they shouldn't be overripe because they will melt together and it would be impossible to put it into a jar. That's a, that's a, a standard thing. If they are not ripe on the opposite way, they are crunchy. That is good for the texture, but is, it's not good for the cooking and for the preserving because it takes a longer time. Okay. Please bear in mind that this product should be boiled for the li as little time as possible, like two to three minutes, one more for the biggest bits and one minute less for the, um, the softer products. For example, for... Mm -hmm. And, and it's ready when what? Well, when I can put a toothpick and uh, it goes... No, no. You just have to cut the, the, the time. For oh, okay. green, pepper, green peppers, one minute and a half is enough. Oh, Body. wow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's like, it's like uh, blanching. You know when you blanch a product and then, then it can be 
not completely uh, cooked, but you can take it away from water, mm. just water, salt, and then you let it dry and you put it into the um, freezer to, to frozen. It means that you have your products ready for the rest of the year that you just pick to do whatever you want. This is another very nice thing that we can do with vegetables if, when you have a lot, you know? Oh. Uh -huh. You can do whatever with, with vegetables, you know. This is why I like them much, much more than meat. I listened to yesterday's conversation. I liked it. But when we came to wine, I was happier because for me, all that stuff uh, is very familiar to me, but I don't like to do it, you know, to use it uh -huh. at all. You know? And um, how long can I keep my uh, vegetables in a jar? Uh, six to nine to 12 months after sterilization because uh, all these products have to be sterilized otherwise they are a bomb they are a biological bomb and I tell you I always underline this thing because it doesn't make any sense that we take threats for ourselves or for the other people you know um, what I mean I should sterilize them let's say it again for a long at least uh, totally covered with water and for a long at least half an hour to an hour no, no 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 20 to 30 minutes is gonna be okay okay Okay, that's good. Good. Okay. Then, decoration. Because, of course, we got our beautiful jars, but we don't look yes. good. Yes. So, how can I decorate them now to make them a we little have bit? A lot of ways. Uh, there are lots of theories when people send them, send to me uh, preserves or gems, for example, with a label, with mm -hmm. an adhesive label here. I hate it because I all, will always, always, always reuse it. And even though that can oh, have... Oh, no. the colors inside i say mm, what the hell both when you put it here or on the top of the of the of the um, of the cap i don't like it but it's nice to see what is more um, practical for me even though on a selling point of view if i have to sell them it's not as nice as the label because it can be taken away and replaced and blah 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 is to have uh, nice things like this that I put in different colors with the recipe or the pairing and all the stuff. My it problem depends. with that is when you open it and then you put mm -hmm. it in the fridge, there mm -hmm. goes. And then I forget what's there. You know, <laughs> oh, you know. Somebody you know. else in the family comes along and goes, what the? You know, you know, you know. You know the solution is opening and eating. This is oh. the very best solution. It all. I have people I give these products to that send me a picture of the empty jar asking me, begging me to bring them again because I had a friend of mine that got it for Christmas and told me that the, it's a, the, her spoon it was not able to get out again until the, the jar was empty. You know, <laughs> mix it up. Let me tell you, I know I, I possibly let you taste something like that, but it's good. It's good. Okay, listen, uh, nice combination of uh, jam uh, jams and stuff to go with cheese. E, any kind of 90% uh, of jams can be paired with cheese, even oranges, lemons, uh, tangerine, bergamot. This is bergamot coming from Calabria. We, to we talked about Calabria a few days mm -hmm. ago. Can be paired with cheese. The thing is, you just have to follow the very same rule as you would use with wine, that you have to combine them to get a synergy, not one product covering the other, or uh, one product that is completely hidden that you don't have a clue what you're going to eat. For example, um, uh, soft gems like pear or apricot, or um, let's say things like that, that even when you eat the fruit are pretty soft and, and smooth, could be paired with fresh cheese. Okay. Whereas, whereas uh, uh, stronger fruits like figs, for example, need to be put aside stronger cheese, like ripe cheese, like pecorino, parmesan, and, and also hard cheese, because uh, when you put on a plate uh, bits of cheese, and uh, the jam aside, it will be a very nice way to start uh, your meal and then a very nice way to present it to your people. And also remember that also a nice bottle of wine makes the perfect match. That means jam plus cheese plus wine. Or for example, also nice meat product. Uh, with uh, um, uh, ham, raw ham, you could put some kinds of uh, jams, mm. like, uh, again, 
soft sweet gems because you could you risk to cover the jam taste yes with this. of course uh, salami for example or bologna Bo bologna is also soft whereas salami can be put together with stronger jam like again figs or for example orange with spices if you put uh, like cloves or cinnamon or, or ginger inside orange or lemon lemon with spices is great and uh, also mustard mustard, mustard. 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 mustard is another i have a brand personal recipe for mustard that doesn't include uh, what's a senape in english a senape is cast mustard, cast. Uh, no, mustard it's itself mustard. Mm -hmm. that is not done with mustard is done with a, a secret secret ingredient that I, that I will let you try but it's so good it's spicy it's, it's really 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 good and this will go for example with cotechino salami things like that oh yeah of course yeah, yeah, I yeah. So hungry now. but anyway. no, i'm hungry now i'm very hungry now and i don't have any jams preserved oh actually you know i think i still have the little jar that you gave me last year because we When keep we Really? Yeah. yeah, because we keep wanting, you know why? Because we keep wanting to eat it with cheese and we keep forgetting about taking it out. But now you just remind me, I'm going to take it out tonight. Okay? Because I keep saying to the kids, we got to have this with a cheese, we have to have this with a cheese. And then we keep But having the cheese and we keep forgetting about it. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. I have so many at home. I have some time when I have all the rooms with some of these things, maybe at a different uh, stage, like uh, with a label, without a label. I mean, it's, it's a hell of a... Don't, don't, you don't you get confused on what's what? Absolutely not. Even though I sometimes forget to put my own labels on top, just to, when I put them together in, in, um, in, um, in, in, in the store, I need to see on the top what, it is, what, what there is inside. But most of the times I recognize it. I did it with kiwi. You know the green New Zealand fruit? It's yeah. so good. And that one with the cheese is also good. And it's very special because it's a special color. that is green with, with the dark dots. I tell you, it's very, very, very good. Uh, yes. One minute. The most uh, crazy combination of jam you ever done? Uh, the craziest uh, was uh, with uh, pink pepper in grains and i put it into pears i tell you it's a oh my god i, I, I won't use the adjective i would like but you know what i mean do you know the movie you remember the movie yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. he has taken that thing there i tell oh, you wow. it's unbelievable really because you get this little yellow thing with the uh, pink spots inside mamma mia and when you crunch it the pepper taste mm -hmm. comes out yeah. so what would you have uh, with a savory or with so, or or just on bread would with bread it's good because you taste it itself in a, in a natural product but you can also put put it along with a ripe cheese it's gonna be good wow. you know another thing i didn't tell you about spices to do chutney is very mm. nice oh, it's yeah. another thing because you have it's a very indian stuff you have to add the oh. onion and vinegar oh. And I, I, will, I will do it in a, in a few weeks because it's a lot. I haven't been doing it for a long time and it's about time oh, I did it again. Okay, when I'm booked. Because I haven't, I haven't had chutney since I came back from UK many, I many years ago. I, I bought some by, you know, the, the yeah. shop. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh. Have, have you read The God of the Small Things by Arundhati Roy? No. It was, uh, it was written in about uh, southern uh, India. I recommend you reading it in English. It's yeah. going to be hard because it's very slow. You know, Indian way, the traditional, very, 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 very slow book. But it's, you're going to enjoy it a lot. And it talks about chutney for pages and pages. Oh, my God! <laughs> yes, I recommend it to you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. God, Roberta, so I'm definitely booking you in to talk about olive oil because uh, after this uh, wow 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 and uh, yeah we're definitely talking about all about no sorry it was the only you wanted to talk about no sorry it it history t and t no well, i'm sorry i'm sorry t no problem i was thinking about it hey, last yesterday but i told him we need to go <laughs> back and talk about it very interesting yes 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 and you got, got to explain me clearly the difference between white black and green tea There are pretty much 
then three kinds of tea there is no, no, poor no, no. Don't stop now you, you best uh, prepare yourself on this on the history and it will be nice i have samples i have things to show you it will be nice yes yes That's yes fine. roberta keep safe stay indoors i know you're not going anywhere like we are no but keep jumping <laughs> you forgot this oh it's okay well, what have you got to, for me today then a ring from flores Ooh. this represents a medieval tower if you can see it from close yes. there are different, different kinds of uh, of uh, gold and comes from a, a craftsmanship a, a jewelry in florence that is called it's a french name la nouvelle bag that means the new ring that is a, a word game with la nouvelle bag that is the french uh, movement of uh, movie i mean very nice thing good very you good. didn't do your sign did you sorry your sign Please no wait wait look at me it can it be like this no no you get rid of no 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 you get rid of me like this you cannot get rid of me no. so this is me will be my name Roberta Senaro family name you find me on Facebook and Twitter Whereas on Instagram you find my first name Roberta and my blog name Gamberet da Rossa Little Red Shrimp but if you are talking to us uh, through Instagram here you will find my profile and everything and you will have a whole section dedicated to conserve preserves with some recipes not a lot but some recipes there are also other things like uh, infusions uh, with the jujole with the with the skins another thing that i like do a lot nice things i'm on card mm, nice okay roberta thank you so much it was lovely i see you actually look really good actually i got to say really yeah uh, put your, put uh, you ch- you should change your glasses but anyway i appreciate it a lot thanks a lot it's been very kind of you to talk to you and to meeting a lot of nice people that share with us the passion for their job and yeah. their, their lives even through these uh, troubled times can we say this and i know and i know me and you drink as soon as possible with the girls okay ciao robby stay home stay safe ciao ciao ciao